Today's historical shadow brings us to the Jungar Khanate, a region that covers parts of present-day Siberia, Kyrgyzstan, China, and Kazakhstan. From 1755 to 1758, an egregious genocide occurred in this region. Between the beginning of the 1680s and the end of the 1750s, occurred a series of military campaigns between the Qing dynasty and the Dzungars. If the last campaign between 1757 and 1758 marks the final Chinese victory, this one most notably amounted to the complete destruction not only of the Dzungar state, but also of the Dzungars as a people. After its victory in 1755, the Qing Emperor planned to divide the Dzungar Khanate into four kingdoms to avoid any future rebellion. But, unexpectedly, and worse enough, until then the Qing's principal ally, hoping to govern all the Khanate and not only one principality, decides to betray the Emperor and lead the Dzungar in a new rebellion. Outraged, the Emperor ordered the eradication of the Dzungar as a people in their entirety. The Qing dynasty thus proceeded to the extermination of the male Dzungar population, as well as the enslavement of the Dzungar's women and children. Smallpox also removed an important portion of the Dzungar population during the rebellion. The top-down pressure to carry out the extermination from the Chinese authorities incited even more killings. For instance, some commanders were punished for letting some people escape in the wake of the occupation of Dzungar lands. They were given specific orders to deprive Dzungars of food and let them starve to death. During this campaign, the king weren't fighting alone. Indeed, they had found a valuable ally in the Uyghurs led by Emin Koja. The Uyghurs were in conflict with the Jungars, as under their occupation, the Jungars would impose some ridiculously high taxes on the population. Tax collectors themselves could decide to raise taxes, and when people couldn't afford them anymore, they would use rape, sometimes even collective or gang rapes, as a means of payment. Before its destruction by the Qing dynasty, the Khanate was a lively confederation of different tribes composing the Mongol people. By 1758, it is estimated that about 80% of the population of the last great nomadic empire of Asia perished during the various massacres and epidemics, amounting to between 480,000 to 600,000 deaths. After destroying the population of the Khanate region, the Chinese government repopulated the region, sending settlers and farmers. It wasn't until the 1990s that the Chinese authorities would acknowledge and apologize for the genocide. See you next time for another Shadow of History.